Hi, Year 12. Um, we're going to look at uh, some more examples of weak interactions in this video. Um, we're going to look at uh, the Feynman diagrams for um, electron capture by a proton and um, an electron proton collision. Uh, these are basically the same process, um, but they have two distinct names. Um, and we are also going to look at um, kaon decay into uh, pions. Okay, so we'll start with um, electron capture. Um, by the way, I've realized that I've, um, I've been using a dashed line to represent uh, the W plus W minus bosons. Um, I've realized actually in the AQA exam papers, they use uh, a wiggly line. You can basically use either for your uh, W or Z0 uh, exchange bosons. It's just one of those things, there are different conventions. Um, I'm gonna stick with using the dash line they're always going to be labelled with um, the the symbol for the boson anyway, uh, so yeah, just don't don't get thrown by that if you see a wobbly line instead of a, a dash line. It it doesn't really matter. Right. Okay. So um, electron capture. Um, we've got a proton, and what's going to happen here is this is going to be a proton that is inside a nucleus and that nucleus is obviously going to be part of an atom generally speaking and in electron capture one of the innermost electrons so the the inner shell of electrons nearest to the the nucleus one of the electrons from that shell is actually captured by a proton um, this happens via the weak force. Um, so the proton is going to emit uh, a W plus boson. That boson is going to be absorbed by the electron. Um, we get a transformation of the electron into an electron neutrino. So again, we're conserving electron lepton number at this vertex as well as charge and the proton on emitting that W plus boson the proton turns into a neutron in uh, the same way as we saw with uh, beta plus emission in the previous video. So that's electron capture so that's a process that happens um, within atoms um, the innermost electron uh, of the atom gets captured um, and actually that will then it, within the atom that will then uh, prompt a kind of cascade effects where where the uh, higher energy electrons will then drop down um, to fill the, the the vacant space in in the inner shell now um, an electron proton collision is really the same process. This is um, one of those examples of having um, two different Feynman diagrams, and they are distinct Feynman diagrams, but the result is the same in terms of what you would observe happening. Um, in this case, it seems that these two processes, these two Feynman diagrams have been given different names. So um, again, we're starting with a proton and electron. Um, this time it's the electron that's going to uh, emit a W minus boson, change into an electron neutrino. The proton absorbs the W minus boson and turns into a neutron. So for the exam you need to know the names of those two processes and be able to draw those Feynman diagrams. 
Right, um, moving on to uh, kaon decay uh, into pions. Now, kaons, as we've seen before, are strange particles. They have uh, strange or anti-strange quarks, depending on which kaon it is. And because they're the lightest strange particle, they decay via the weak force. Um, they have to do that because they can't decay via the strong force because there's no way that they can uh, turn into other particles whilst conserving their strangeness. So they have to decay via the weak force, which means they don't have to conserve strangeness. Now, kaons decay in lots of different ways. Um, they can decay into muons. Uh, they can decay into uh, pions and the exact sort of combination of pions is different depending on whether it's a K plus or K minus or a K zero. Um, in terms of the exam, you really just need to know that kaons decay into pions. Um, we are going to look at um, the Feynman diagram, I think, for, for completeness, but I don't actually think you're going to need to uh, be able to draw this Feynman diagram, but I think it's interesting. Okay, so we're going to look at the K0 decay because it's um, one that actually happens purely through weak interactions. Um, if we wanted to do the Feynman diagram for K plus, K minus, we'd have to start involving... Um, strong interactions as well as weak interactions but we're not going to get into that so um the k0 is down here so this is a down and an anti-strange quark so strangeness value of plus one because it's got an anti-strange quark um i'm going to draw those particles proceeding, they, they go together because remember these are these quarks are bound together in this uh, K meson. Um, the anti-strange quark is going to emit a W plus boson, and as it does that, it's going to change its identity into an anti-up quark. The down quark is not directly involved it's going to stay as a down quark and so up here we've got uh, a down and anti-up which is run out of space that's our pi minus um, meson so the w plus is then going to turn into uh, an up and an anti-down quark and those two quarks bound together are our positive pi meson. So that's just an example of, of K on decay. Um, if you want to sort of look into it further, you'll be able to find on the internet the other uh, Feynman diagrams for uh, K plus and K minus but really for the exam, in fact, all you need to know is that kaons decay into different combinations of uh, pions. That's one of the ways that they can decay. Okay, that's it for this video.